Ladies and gentlemen, people of all shapes, genders, and uh, identities, welcome to the Adrift. Um, we're going online here with some more Persona 2. So um, just going to be a short little cast this week. Um, uh, just kind of getting myself warmed up back into streaming. Uh, I had kind of an off week this week, um, but we'll get into a more regular schedule here as as, as we go on. Uh, thank you all for sticking with us. Um, so yeah, we're just going to see how far I can get before around 7 o'clock when my friend uh, Arcade Royal is going to go on um, and on his stream to play Breath of Fire 4, and I'm going to jump over and co-host with him. Um, and I'll host that channel here, um, so you guys are welcome to pop over when we go. Um, give him a follow. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see... Uh, let's see how we're how we're doing. So, um, if you call, uh, if you're with us from last week um, and earlier this week, uh, welcome back. Um, we just got through the first major dungeon and out into the world proper. Um, Uh, so that means that we're going to finally start getting into sort of the meat and potatoes here of Persona 2. Oh, something. That was odd. Uh, my controller just had a little, little, uh, freak out there. Yeah, something's wrong with my analog stick. Oh well, we don't really need to use it. Um, so let's go ahead and continue our game. And yeah, um, we just uh, we got an emblem last time, and we're told by some kid who seems to recognize us. Um, to spread a rumor that this emblem, which was the, the high school emblem uh, where all the murders were happening, uh, will protect you from the serial killer if you wear it. Um, and we've discovered that spreading rumors uh, through a certain network makes them come true, um, which was proven by this gentleman right here, his name is Bao Fu, turning this humble little uh, jazz bar into a black market weapons shop um, by spreading a rumor on his cell phone. So we determined that the rumors work. Hello, Morphine24. I'm, I'm doing much better, thanks. Um, thanks for sticking around. Um, how are you doing? How is everyone doing out there in chat land? But yeah, uh, so we've we've shown that rumors come true. We've turned this place into our weapons shop, and um, we are now all set to set about um, figuring out the mystery of the Joker. And in a nice little cutscene that we closed off the last episode with, um, our main character Maya Amano uh, burned the emblem that was given to her um, because she didn't want to be protected from the Joker she wants to find out more about him and figure out what's going on um, so this is our party standing out here in the room um, this is Bao Fu uh, seems to be sort of a conspiracist um, uh, ham radio operator kind of archetype uh, he runs his own, like, website forum thing for talking about rumors and 
various goings on um, that he seems to be much more in the know about than we are. He also apparently operates some wiretaps and is maybe connected to Taiwanese security. He says he's from Taiwan, at least. Um, before we got, before we met him, we met uh, Katsuya, this gentleman right here. He is a cop with uh, some seriously 70s sideburns. Um, his brother went to Seven Sisters High School and is missing. Um, he was investigating the serial murders that were happening there, but was taken off the case um, after the incident from last week, wherein we saw a bunch of demons and all the all the shit basically hit the fan, as it were. Um, and finally, we come to Ulala, who seems to be our best friend. Um, she's a, a gothy lady with a spiderweb dress and hair that looks like a star, and is good at punching things. Um, and she was hanging out with us because we were supposed to go to a party this weekend, uh, and our boss assigned us to these serial murderers kind of as punishment. Uh, so we didn't end up getting to go. She went with us to investigate and of course got wrapped up in this whole mess. So there's the four of us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk to people, see if anyone has anything to say here in the weapon shop. As I try to remember what the heck we're doing, Udala says, rumors becoming true. Hey, so all the things that people are talking about irresponsibly is not good, is it? No. No, it is not. I'm just glad Twitter doesn't exist in this world. <laughs> I mean... Oh, gosh. Of course, that would be a neat mechanic, too. Just to forego the rumor mongers entirely. And, uh... The general public does enjoy spreading strange rumors, and it will all come true. The police won't be enough to handle this. Baofu says, rumors that come true. If we're not careful, some wicked individuals may use it for evil purposes. Evil purposes. That was supposed to be a dolphin. It turned into a horse. I'm not good at the animal noises. Let's talk to this gentleman at the bar. Barkeeper, welcome. What can I get for you? All right. Oh, we can eat. We can talk. What do we do if we get a meal? Oh, okay. So this is the same as the sushi place in the other mall um, that we went to. We can increase our stats temporarily by eating meals. Um, let's just let's just talk with him. I do indeed stock guns in this store. Take a look! The shine of the blue steel. The weight, the functional beauty, splendid! Ha! Gun control, please don't be a wet blanket. Oh, jeez. I'm very I'm mildly uncomfortable with all of this, but... It's an item shop! <laughs> um... So, in conversation this week, um, it sort of came to my awareness that uh, in some of the streams I've been doing, um, I've been kind of rushing through things. Um, like, someone unfamiliar with the JRPG sort of genre might not uh, understand like what the appeal is for a game like this, so I just want to talk a little bit while I'm looking through these. Um, oh, that's quite nice. These are, some, these are some good weapons. He fights with a coin? That's bizarre. That's, that, that's right up my alley. Um, 
one of the appeals of this genre to me is um, when it's done well. Um, there's there's sort of two different reasons that I like JRPGs. Um, one of which is just purely aesthetic. Um, a lot of my favorite entries in this genre are things that you know that there's stories that kind of they do things that you don't find a lot in other uh, places you know TV shows comics uh, things like that um, that at least at the very early age very appealing to me um, Chrono Trigger pop comes to mind um, you know, Final Fantasy VII was another one, uh, Secret of Mana, which we can, we can argue about whether or not that's a JRPG in the strictest sense, because it's not turn-based, but, um, aesthetically that's, that's kind of the sort of thing I'm talking about. So, like, a, a JRPG mechanically is just turn-based battles, towns, dialogue, you know, items. Um, and at the very, very heart of it, it's just, you know, whose numbers are better, and you bash your numbers together until one of you dies. Um, which is a very skeletal kind of thing, and you can layer so much on top of that framework. Um, which is one of the reasons why I like some of these wilder, crazier, out there sorts of RPGs. Um, you know, Pokemon is a JRPG. Um, you, it, it's got all, it's got that turn-based skeleton in there. You've got your overworld map, and what they do in that story is, you know, they make it about sort of childlike innocence and exploration, and going out into the world to kind of be a, a naturist to, or a naturalist to, to catalog uh, the creatures that run around and conserve them. Um, in a game like this one, uh, you have a similar sort of skeleton, but it's a much darker sort of um, story about peeling back the veil of a world that's kind of corrupt and looking at the sort of forces that are at work behind, you know, in the shadows. Um, there's, there's lots of different stories that can be told in this genre, and I really like that. The, uh, the next sort of mechanical thing I want to talk about, like, the reason the turn-based battles are appealing to me is because I'm not a very twitchy sort of video game player. Um, I... Um... I can appreciate something like a Devil May Cry, um, or, you know, things of that nature, where you're running around, you're trying to bash things as fast as you can and enter, like, really specific bu button combos or just button mash until something dies. Um, and those are fun, and I like them, but I also like being able to play games where I can kind of think through what I'm doing and I don't have to, for the most part, I don't have to worry about like really rapid reflexes and things like that. I can be a little bit more strategic. I can be a little bit more, um, I can poke around and figure out how, how things work. Uh, oh, I still have my overlay text up. Hold on. There we go. That should be fixed now. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Uh, thanks, Cass, for po pointing that out. Um, 
boy oh boy oh boy so the, the overlay was uh was something new i was trying this week um give people a chance to to hop in uh but yeah so that's one of the reasons i like jrpgs is they're they're just they tend to be a bit slower and more methodical um there's a trade-off where things are a lot more abstracted because of that, um, and so there's sometimes you have this frustrating thing where RNGesus just uh, doesn't like you, and <laughs> you know you get bad RNG and things like that. But uh, for the most part, uh, yeah, I, I really like these games. Well, all right, I'm looking. I'm looking through our. Um, Our, our stuff here, and uh, I'm going to buy some new weapons for folks, um, because I'd like everybody to be dealing out a decent amount of damage without having to use SP um, as much, that way I can be a little bit more strategic about conserving that. Um, I don't have enough to get the best weapon for both Maya and Katsuya, so I'm going to see if I can sell um, I'm going to see if I can sell some things uh, before moving out so we're going to... let's see... Where do I go to equipment here? No? Nope. Uh, data. Uh, equip! Square! There we go. We'll pick up our Astral Falcon. We don't have anything to put on our head. We've got our sexy suit, which is uh, the lure two-piece. We've got taping, which we will replace with our kakute. Uh, he's got a new nanbu. Which I think what we'll do is we'll replace that with the colt pony, sell it, and see if that gives us um, enough money to get his next weapon. I love that this guy fights with a coin. There's something really cool about that, um, flavor-wise. So let's let's uh, give him the future coin and replace that with the Colt Pony. We'll, uh... I'm awed by the barkeeper's gun collection. Isn't bringing guns into the country illegal? Well, it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Shikata Ganai. It can't be helped. Um... Yeah, I got a cool glasses guy, dude. You ought to check out the VOD. It's, uh... He's awesome. He's uh, his name's Bao Fu. He runs a conspiracy website. He stepped out of a William Gibson novel, pretty much. Um, he claims he's from Taiwan. He has wiretaps on people. <laughs> uh, and he fights with a coin. I'm not quite sure how that works yet, but uh... okay, we're gonna sell our old items. And that ought to give us enough to buy this Astral Falcon, so we're all dealing as much uh, extra damage as we can. Not really worried about other items just at the moment, because um, we we've got you know we've got Dia, we've got a pretty decent amount of SP. Um, if we're careful, I should be able to heal everybody up and keep people from dying. Um, 
we picked up a bunch of uh, recovery items last time as well. So I'm also not going to worry about um, summoning any new persona just yet. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you missed you missed David. Um, this this guy here turned this bar into a weapons establishment by calling somebody up, spreading a rumor that this got that this bar was also a black market for weapons. And because rumors become true when you spread them in this game, the bartender came over with a with like a a, a case full of uh, wine glasses. And he opened it up, and inside were just, like, a ton of guns. <laughs> and it was just like, oh, okay, I guess that works. So, um, chat last time, I can't remember whether it was Morphine24 or, um, someone else was telling us that, uh, the, the item shop, um, the clothing store that we went to, um, We'll have better items once we sell. Once we start spreading rumors about um, the properties of the clothes, the clothes that they sell there. So we're gonna wait to pick up new equipment until we can do that. Mysterious woman, envious of men, they're like children. They'll follow their dream no matter what. It couldn't be his dream. God, I love the like neo noir feeling of all of these places. Like you've just got all these little stories happening. Um, all over the place. Well, let's hit the road. Uh, let's actually actually equip uh, our good item onto this gentleman. And yeah, yeah, that's good, good, good. Now we'll save. But yes, I love I love the sort of neo noir sensibility uh, of this game. Um, we just have, you know, we're we're a reporter on a beat. Uh, we're chasing a killer. We've got all this other stuff happening in the shadows. There's intrigue. Um, it's, it's real cool. I love it. Okay, so Velvet Room is where we would do stuff with our personas, which we're not going to do this time. Um, instead... I'm going to try and figure out where I need to go. The bar called ba Parabellum seems to have started dealing weapons. Well, with a name like that, what do you expect? Indeed, you are genre savvy. Actually, a weapon shop. Dangerous stuff, but people buy it anyway. Probably for self-defense, but I'm scared to use things like that. It just doesn't feel right. I'm with you, mysterious woman. Young man. Place was pretty scary before, now it's even scarier. Indeed. Alright, we can go to Aoba Park. Willala won't let us. So, we're pretty clearly being railroaded somewhere. We've been to our publishing house. It's possible we're supposed to. Nope, we can't go into the TV station yet. Well, let's see where else we can go. Mount Mifune. Oh, right. This is the old hospital. So let's go to the creepy hospital, guys. Okay, here we are. What I'd like to know is if... Uh, any of these streets and things are modeled on C 
see if any of these streets are modeled on uh, uh, actual Japanese town. Nothing bad has ever happened at Creepy Hospital. Indeed. <laughs> it's perfectly safe. Absolutely. All right. A hiker says, I was out hiking a while back, and I wound up on the backside of the sanitarium. It was pretty dark and scary. I don't understand how they can keep their doors open. Most of their beds are empty. So, possibly shady dealings happening at the sanitarium. Like you do. This person. Shady security guard. There was an accident up ahead. There's nothing to see here. Move along. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Accident. Have you contacted the police? Not yet. It just happened. Now move along. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. I understand. Thank you. All the dark aura around this creepy sanitarium dungeon. Yeah, it's like there's just there's just this 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 cloud descending over Mount Mifune that only reaches as far as the sanitarium. <laughs> Everywhere else is 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 fine. This is suspicious. There's another road down at the bottom of the hill. It's longer, but it leads to the back. Alright, let's take that. Indeed, let's! I don't think there's anything else I can do right at the moment. Uh, so let's head to the dungeon. Alright. We've got some banging tunes here. We'll, uh, we'll drop a save. That's one of the other appeals of the JRPG genre to me. Uh, because the, the mechanic part of it is so, is not, is not very twitchy and there's not a lot of fanfare, uh, around it. It feels like, in being restrained in that sense, you end up spending a lot of resources on things like music and art and um, dialogue and such. Uh, that's not 100% true across the genre, but the ones that I'm really fond of um, seem to have that in common. Um, was definitely one of the things that first drew me to the genre. Um, Cool character designs, great music, interesting stories, um, and uh, battles where I wasn't like button mashing all the time. Uh, very appealing to me. Okay, can we go down this way? This is just a little nook. All right, time to scrub our bodies up against the walls and see if we can find items. Alrighty. So, who wants to have their face smashed in? I do! I do! Alright, let's figure out, uh... Level 5. Level 5. Level 6. Okay, so we might be slightly underpowered for... for here. Um... Try to get our har harpy. Let's contact. Let's contact the harpy, and we'll contact her with uh, Baofu, whose skill is wiretapping. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Hold on a second. Listen to this really carefully. My god, we're gonna blackmail the harpy! <laughs> You're a pretty cunning guy. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. This is the business. Okay. You totally blow chunks. Like, just die. But yet, I'll take care of you. Do you, like, have something against me? <sighs> okay. 
Let's gamble. We've just saved. I'm going to say I can't tell you what it is. Ah. There we go. There we go. Did someone ask you to come after me? Cool! You must be an assassin or something. That reminds me. There's this real Two-Face, and she, like, puts on this act in front of guys. Don't you think people like that suck? Yes, they do suck. Sure. For sure. Good. I'm glad. Oh, no. I'm getting all depressed. I don't care about anything anymore. Is my life, like, worth living or what? Yes! Okay, that was an unexpected reaction. You like, what are you, like, up to? Right! Uh... Maya... Boy, what about that tap buster and a detective? Maybe let's not experiment so much. Let's, uh, let's just talk with... Let's use Maya. Interview demon about secret of popularity. Oh, didn't like that. Gag me with a spoon. What are you, some kind of stalker? Am I like going to have to kill you now? Well, uh, let's see. All right. Well, let's let's try the let's try the combo here. Uh, oh nope. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna get punched. We are going to get punched. Okay, that did nothing to us. That did something. All right. Strategy. How can she punch you? She's got no arms. With her claws! I mean, I guess I suppose that would be goring us. She's going to gore us in the eyes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's just send everybody to attack for the moment, see what we got here. Um, let us try water. Um, ooh la la. Kicking at a stretch. I have a feeling Earth won't do a lot against a flying enemy, but I'm going to try Zan. Uh, Baofu, what what do you have? I'm betting she's immune or even absorbs uh, Garu, so we're not going to have you use that. Uh, we are going to have you use it on this little blob guy. And Katsuya... Yeah, you're gonna use fire on the harpy. Let's see what happens! Now, go. That did a lot. Excellent. Okay. It's oh. over. And Anki does very little to the blob. Okay. Uh, strategy. Actions. Maya, you are going to heal. Ooh la la. Uh, Katsuya... You're going to attack the blob. 
Falfu? You're going to use Garu, but you're going to use it against this Phantom. And... Ooh la la... They're gonna use that on the blob there. We're gonna switch up the order so that Maya goes first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Okay, good. Alright. That didn't do much. That didn't do a whole lot, but he ranked up at least. Alright. Baofu, we're gonna have you use... Garu again on the last guy. Hopefully you'll, um rank up a little bit. See, so you're gonna go for Maya. Confirm. Okay. Wind, Earth, Fire. Unlock new fusion spell. That's good advice. Um... I'm not sure we'll be able to do it on this battle, but I will try it the next one. Uh... Oh, hey, actually, I can. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's probably going to be immune to fire, but, um... We'll give it a shot. Ow. Hold him down. Tower Inferno. Holy shit. Well that killed him. Self-defense. There's no problem with that. All right, that got us 28 experience and leveled us up. Ooh la la. You got agility one. Excellent. Katsuya. Okay, good, good. Slowly leveling up all your other stats. Falfu, you didn't level up. I don't know why that is. I just want to see what level he's on here. Okay, so his persona is pretty high level, and he is pretty high level. Okay, that's good. Excellent. And his persona is in the Hanged Man. Cool. Looks like he's pretty close to ranking up again, so that's good. Uh... Right. Well, uh, let's, uh... Did I just come from this way? Oh god, I got turned around. No, that's where I came from. We're going northeast. Maybe this way. You wanna go? That was Balfu's voice. That was very nice. Very smooth. Uh, alright. Uh, we can try to contact... Goosefawn. Um, we might not need to. Like, I think... If we have stuff from the Hanged Man already... Well. Um, we can try to get Nightmare. Yeah, let's try that. So... Let's try Ulala and Baofu together. And see what that does. The 
face says a lot about a person. Let's see, your features tell me. Only look out for numero uno, but you handle your money well. Don't be afraid to take a chance or two. Fortune readings are bogus. They don't really tell your fortune, they just cost a fortune. <laughs> okay! We found a combo that works on Nightmare. This is excellent news. Let's just spam it. Better off playing the lottery. Now it's Nightmare's turn. Okay, we might be able to get a contract here. From the moment you're born, path in this world has been determined, I'll tell your fortune. Honest efforts and humility will pay off for you in the long run. Good luck. How can you tell the fortune for someone else when you can't tell yours? Thank you for today. Here is a present. Here's an item, Ball of Returning. We'll meet again soon, right? Nightmare will be watching. Wait, did we not get a contract with her? Bogus! Totally bogus! Alright, well... You know what? Let's talk to the Hanged Man. See if we can at least get some uh, tarot cards from him. Listen to this really carefully. Pretty cunning guy. Don't get the wrong idea. This is business. Oh, are we gonna do good cop, bad cop? A crime against a demon is still a crime. <laughs> Why do you have my voice? Are you some kind of weirdo? Alright. Alright. Let's try... What? what happens if we do... A preacher, a good listener, and a perverse man? <laughs> oh god. I just have to see what this is. <laughs> Advice? Question mark. Your problems are our problems. Wipe your own ass. <laughs> Humans have a lot of issues, right? My grandma told me about that. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's try... We'll just do straight fortune-telling. I have no strategy yet for these guys. We're just, uh, we're seeing what does what. Now is the time that running away will actually bring you victory. Stay away from others. Oh, no, you're just saying that. I'm gonna get really sore. No, I'm pissed off. You have no idea just how pissed off I am, so I want to ask you something. What do you get when you get mad? Wrinkles, weight, attention, or nothing. I mean... Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We're hitting buttons at random. Wrinkles! Hmm, that's neato. <laughs> By the way, I got a question for you humans. Are aliens human? They're closer to demons, actually. <laughs> that makes me happy. Okay. Let's just uh, interview him. Do you have anything to say to your fans? Do you have anything? That's great. Oh, nope. Well, I guess we gotta fight. Yeah. Will, um, Fusion 
spell. We'll try the Tower Inferno. We will set. Um, we'll confirm. Let me just make sure that Maya is targeting him. Finish. Confirm. Battle. Alright, yes, we will go. We'll use that on the Hanged Man. Hold him down! Okay, that did very little. That did a lot more. Okay. Well, I guess we know his weakness now. Um. Let's see... Weak to holy. Do we have any holy? We have almighty. That's not the same thing, though. Ooh la la. You're gonna use... Zan. Earth, wind, water, another one for weak to water enemies. Cool. Uh, sure. Uh, so yeah, do you have any other... Shot and reorder. Earth, wind, water. Let's try it. That did a lot. Completed. Excellent. Good job, team. Mutation. Well, nobody said anything about mutating. That was awesome. I don't know what that did. <laughs> okay. Um. Obviously, we're going to put another into tech. Uh, uh, I'm going to do agility. No. Uh, put one into strength. Just to push up our attack a little bit more. One into Vit. No. Two into. Yeah. One into Strength. One there. Yeah. Here we go. In the deep dark woods. All right, I'm gonna see if um, I can get to the end of this next room, and um, I'll probably probably pop offline because I know Arcade Royal is gonna start his uh, Breath of Fire stream uh, shortly. He's here in the chat. Um, and, oh, it branches. Okay, cool. Or Persona can change form. That's really interesting. 
Um, all right, we'll finish this next battle, and uh, and then I'll call Everyone it. Free. Oh great, we've got Squirrel Girl again. We gotta, we gotta get her. We gotta get Squirrel Girl. Um, we're gonna come uh, contact Ratatosk. We're going to use Baofu and <laughs> and Ulala. Let's see what happens. See what happens. Stay back, you amateurs. You're going to get hurt. What are you showing off for? Well, I'll leave the rest to you. Let's bail. It's probably gonna make her mad. Yup. I get to get a very, very scary punishment. What's a good punishment? Uh, spanking. Oh, nope. Okay, didn't like that. All right. I think Ulala was the one that we got the most out of last time. Love fortune, okay. Uh, but that didn't, that didn't go anywhere. Uh, let's try that. <laughs> what are those? What are those? Um... Let's see. Let's try that. Let's see. Oh, nope. Does not like that. Okay, we finally got a positive reaction. Goodness, we are we are still striking out on uh, on Ratatosk. I guess we better, uh... Ooh, all right. Strategy. I don't remember what her weakness is. Strong to earth, weak to wind. Strategy, fusion spell. Tower Inferno is fire, water, earth don't have a wind one yet. Um, I think what we might do is just... Baofu. We'll use Garu on Ratatosk. Uh, Oolala. You will use... Ooh! Renders an enemy charm. Let's try that on... Try that on Nightmare. And Maya. Let's see. Everyone's in pretty good shape so far. Just as a whim, we'll try you we'll try uh just knocking someone out straight away. See how this goes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. It's over. Nope. Fire does 16 and... Hurry up. Wind does 47. Excellent. Alright. This one weak too. Strong sword and attack weak to earth. Okay. Alright. Well then. Well then. Uh, let's see. Persona, Aggie, Nightmare. Maya. I use Aqua on the Harpy. Baofu, you're going to use... Is the enemy under an illusion? Interesting. Uh, finish. We'll switch the order up so that everyone gets a t chance to have an attack in. I, uh, I'll just swap out there. Alright, here we go. It's over. An interesting thing about this battle system is that, like, your characters do, like, move around, but that there doesn't seem to be any strategic importance to that. It's just, like, it seems to be purely aesthetic. Like, um, it's not like Chrono Trigger, where you can, like, shoot through a bunch of different enemies if they happen to be in a line. Alright, well, it's about 20 after 7. Um, I think I'm gonna call it stream there. Um, and... Um, we'll get things set up uh, to head over to Arcade Royals' channel. Um... Uh, he's doing Breath of Fire 4, and I will be co-hosting with him tonight, uh, so we should be on that shortly, and um, I will go ahead and pop a host here. Um, let's save. Before I head out there. Thanks, everybody, for showing up tonight. Uh, I know it was a short cast and it was kind of short notice, but um, I figured after after leaving you all for the whole for a whole week, um, it'd be nice to just uh, come on, say hi, let you all know I'm alive. <laughs> um, we will be getting to a regular schedule. I'd like to make it Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, uh, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a good time. Uh, Thank you for coming. Um, this is uh, this is quite nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, we will we will uh, put this on standby until Arcade Royal goes on. Then uh, we'll uh, we'll head on over. Um, going to show you guys uh, let's go to let's go back to Juno here all right and I need to get like better twitch TV or something because some of the emotes y'all are sending I don't uh, I don't see could just be an encoding thing um, unfortunate but uh, But there we are. Alrighty. Well, uh, once again, thanks for coming, guys. And um, 
I'm just gonna leave the the, the lovely music chilling out here, and uh, while we get ready for Arcade Royal stream, hang out and chat if you'd like. Um, I will be hosting, um, and then you can pop over to his channel, or you can follow him right now and wait for the stream to start. Um, once again, thanks everybody, and uh, have a great day.